So you want to build an application customizer using the top and bottom placeholders. You want to do it the right way, the Microsoft way. Well, my name's Rob and let's dive straight in. So in the last few weeks, we've been looking at application customizers, SharePoint extensions. Well, in the first episode we did, we looked at a very simple, straightforward one to hide the app bar as an introduction. If you remember in the code for that, if I bring that up, we simply said, find this element, and that was the app bar, but we got it so you could configure it yourself, and it hid it by, hide it, hid it, it hid it by setting the style to none. Then last time we did a global CSS. And what we did on there was it searched through the setting. And in, you, do you remember in the tenant wide setting, we had the global uh, CSS location. And what it did is it added it to the header. Well, in the final one, uh, final episode, looking at application customizers, I really just want to show you the code uh, that we had for using the Microsoft out of the box placeholders and how you can use those. Okay, so let's have a look at this example. And all this source code, of course, is at the link below in GitHub. So if you look at placeholders, this is one I created. In this application customizer, I'm using the built-in SharePoint uh, placeholders and this uses a placeholder provider okay so the placeholder provider is built into the context and in a SharePoint modern uh, workspace it gives you top and bottom and it means basically you can do things uh, when you render these top and bottom placeholders so in this case what I've done is I've just made a variable for our placeholder content on the on init function, I've simply said, add an event called render placeholders when the placeholders are rendered. Okay, and this render placeholder does the following. It first says, has this variable top placeholder actually been set? Well, if not, what it does is it creates a new top placeholder using the placeholder provider, it calls it uh, the top placeholder name top, and we have to link to an ondispose function. I've actually set that just here as a void. Okay. And then I say, if it can't create that placeholder, then render out an error. Uh, I've taken this from a Microsoft example, by the way, because that's really good documentation. I'll put the link to that below as well. And all I do, I say, if the top placeholder has a DOM element, then set the inner HTML to say this is the top placeholder. Again, I do the same for the bottom placeholder. I create it if it doesn't exist, I put an error if it can't create it. And if it does exist, then I simply write out this is the bottom placeholder. So this will allow you to use, to kind of work within Microsoft's top and bottom placeholders when you're writing uh, extensions, a kind of safe zone just in case anything changes in the future. I've also done one more little thing. I've put a custom.module, important that you use the module, SCSS file. And I've taken this again from a Microsoft documentation. I've done some styling on the top and the bottom. So when I go into my code, you'll see that I include those styles in there. And as I'm rendering them out, I'm simply doing styles.app, styles.top. When I look at the custom CSS app, We've got top and bottom. So if you do want to do some fixed styling, but personally, I'll go the global CSS route for my styling that you saw in the last episode. Okay, so I'm going to bring up a terminal on this one. Let's run this and see what happens. We'll serve. Yes, I want to load debug scripts. And there it's got the top placeholder and it's got the fixed bottom placeholder. So you can add whatever you want to this. All that is in GitHub, as I mentioned. Um, so enjoy the code. If you've got any questions, please stick them in the comments below.
Well, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial and also the last ones on application customizers. Join us next time when we'll be looking at other SharePoint extension types. If you haven't done already, please subscribe, click the like notification. If you've got any comments, leave them below or any questions and we'll be happy to help. I'll see you next time.